Hi, I'm Tony Lacantro and I'm at the RIU Good Oil Conference here in Perth and I'm joined today by Mr Joe Solomon who's the Managing Director of OILX, code OEX. Good afternoon, Joe. Afternoon, pleased hey. to be here. Great, I believe OILX are one of the few oil and gas companies involved in India and I've seen in the press that India is growing at an astronomical rate. Can you tell us about what you're doing in India? Yeah, look, uh, India's a changed country from what it was even five years ago. Huge population, very um, progressive government, focusing on oil and gas and energy security. Prices are, are high, it's an open pricing environment. The minister's doors are open to talk to, talk to him about oil and gas. They're really trying to get in foreign investment. So we've been there for over 10 years. We have an operating office in Gandhinagar. Very good people, excellent people, all Indian nationals. They know how to deal in India. We support them from Perth. We've had some uh, significant successes in getting our field development plans uh, approved and our PSC extension done. And we're really happy to be in India as one of the few companies that are, that are there. We see huge opportunities for the future. Yeah, your share price is, you're trading around three tenths of a cent and your company's worth around eight million dollars. So how do you see, what catalyst do you think could lift you out of this, this share price melee? So we've got a project in India called Cambay. Uh, there's over a TCF of gas uh, in uh, 2C category. Um, we are producing it at, at low rates, less than economic rates, and the secret there is to open up to commercial production rate, commercial flow rate through horizontal drilling and fracture stimulation. And we're getting ready to go back into the field next year to instigate a two well program, two, verti two vertical wells as a pilot program. We've got gas facilities on the surface. So intrinsically there's huge value in that project and we've been held up by some internal problems, mainly to do with a Indian partner that hasn't been paying its bills. Um, and so we, we, we believe, we're confident that we're getting close to solving that issue and that we can get back into the field. And our share price history shows that um, we have a lot of interested investors who are waiting for the breakthrough uh, of solving the final problem in India and getting back, back to what we should be doing, which is drilling wells and producing gas. Are you well funded to see this through? We've got very good and very supportive uh, cornerstone, what we call catalyst investors. They're happy to be involved in a, pro in a company with a project that they believe in. They know that the price is low at the moment and their history is following from a low uh, share price, getting over problems, and then when the funding is needed, they're ready to put the, big, the, the bigger dollars in. So we're very happy with our situation. We've just raised money in London, working capital that will take us through uh, uh, to next year. Yeah, I think the key for investors to make money is to buy all the bad news. Yes. A lot of, a lot of investors will buy at the top because everything's going really well and that's always factored in, whereas they look at opportunities where you have had some corporate issues with bills not being paid, but that's where your greatest upside lies. So um, you've certainly got the right combination. Well, our investors are, are very savvy. Um, they follow our, our story. They know that in India, uh, we've had a temporary uh, stay uh, issued from the High Court of Gujarat. Um, they know it's temporary. Um, they know it doesn't affect our 45% equity, that that's there intact in the project. And we're very confident that we can solve these problems. Okay, thanks Joe. Seems a great story. Thank you very much.